I know what you guys are thinking. This girl just can't post videos consistently. Now guilty as charged, but trust me, it's quite frustrating to me as well when I have shot up so much videos over the past month, yet unable to, you know, post it on YouTube. Seriously, the past one month has been nothing short of a roller coaster ride. It all started with the video that I'm gonna post today and then there was Canada day, then I did some traveling, fell from a bike, sprained my knee and elbow, was bedridden for a couple of days, I had a planned vacation. So anyways went ahead with the vacation, again sprained my knee more but had a lot of fun too and then came back to work with almost 400 emails glaring at me so past two weeks have been like catching up with work so you see so much has happened and i can't wait to share it all with you guys even yesterday i kind of logged in early to work around seven in the morning thinking i can log out early and then complete editing this video and keep everything ready but Works work. I had to extend for another two hours and I was so damn tired yesterday, couldn't do anything. So I was determined to post this video today. So I have woken up at 6 a.m. just to do this. So, you know, I'm trying. Trust me, I'm the Let's not waste any more time and get started with catching up with my past one month's life. And I really hope you guys are going to enjoy what you're going to see in the upcoming videos. So enjoy. Hello everyone, Namaskara. I hope you all are doing good. Welcome back to The Little Things. In my previous video, I had told you all that today's video is going to be an amazing one. So here am I. Today's date is 23rd June 2022 and I can say hands down, this is gonna be the best 23rd June of my entire life. So what's so special about today? Someone really, really close to my heart is gonna come to Canada today and I can't tell you how happy I am. It's literally like ever since I've come to Canada, I've waited for this day and it's it's been in making for almost five years now. So we're all set to go to the airport and pick them up. Who is it gonna be? Do you have any guess? So are you guys ready to go on this journey with me to the airport? I guess you guys don't have a choice here, isn't it? So let's go. Hello, hello. So we are on our way, walking towards the bus stand. We thought we'll take a bus to airport. It's gonna take around one hour. If we take cab, it would be like 30 minutes from here. So it's fine. We're gonna take time right there to collect the baggage and finish all the formalities. So we should have enough time. Let's cross the road. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> how, how excited? That I'm not sure. <laughs> that I'm not sure. I'm tired of this guy living alone with him. Now it's gonna be three people. So okay then. Got to run. If not, we're gonna miss our bus. So catch you in airport. Turns out we are late, he has already arrived, so trying to find him. has come all the way from India and you know meeting him after two and a half years time and had to take him for his first Tim Hortons couldn't wait but the airport Tim Hortons was not really good totally avoided and then 
Rajesh had some office stuff so he had to leave we came back home and the next day we had planned for a surprise for him Now my brother just like Rajesh is a really private person is not comfortable in front of camera so I'm just going to put a couple of clips here but you get the idea right he really wanted to buy PS5 for a very long time so this was his Canada coming gift <laughs> Hi sorry it's been a while I didn't post last week because although my brother is the one who has traveled all the way from India I was the one who was feeling jet lagged hadn't slept for 4 5 days straight so my brain was not working properly so I just took my time out to process everything and right now I'm all good it's been one week since he has come and all's going well and today i thought let me wrap up this video and get it ready for you guys so what are we going to do today is show you all the goody goody stuff that i have got from india so although i've got a lot of different stuff what i'll be showing you all today is the food and some kitchen stuff that i uh, made him get from there so let's get started So for every immigrant who is living abroad if you ask them what's one thing that you really miss about your home country they are definitely going to say food and like everybody else i do miss our food from my hometown so we have some speciality here the first thing let's start with some sweet stuff right if any of your friend or relative is traveling to bangalore and if there's one thing one thing that you really want from there and that would be this this is the mysore park of bangalore from shri venkateshwara sweet meat stall and they're functioning since 1954 and this is from the home branch in bale peet near majestic so this right here is love it's it's been a struggle not to eat it and let it be this way for a week especially because rajesh loves his sweet so this is the mysore park if you get a chance to have it fresh then there's nothing compared to that it literally melts in your mouth but even this is really good so this is one thing that you must try from bangalore the next thing that i want to show you all is who doesn't like reliving their childhood memories right so look what we've got here it's alcova <laughs> another great childhood memory of all three of us so this had to make it now enough about sweets because your girl here is all about spicy stuff so this is plantain or banana chips specially got from a place called hornadu so there's a temple over there and this is something to die for especially this one this is pepper and asafoetida um plantain chips it's so amazing so every time we go there we have to get this so this is from there also there's something new which i had never tried i guess my mom she has turned into a next level chef after i left india so she has prepared something and she has sent it and that's this she has literally used mangoes and did some kind of preparation sun dried it and this is like so good it is spicy it is sweet there's that tanginess there's salt in it so it has everything in it we're literally eating it in bits and pieces every single day and i don't think it's gonna last this is the only stuff that we've left with now so yeah this is amazing so thanks to my mom One thing for which South Indian households are famous for are their homemade 
Hapla and Sandige basically. So my mom and some family friends have all prepared all these wonderful stuff for us. So we have some Sandige here and full bag of uh, Akki Hapla. I think my mom prepared this and from my native. This is a speciality from southern part of Karnataka. This is called Halsan Kai Hapla. If you haven't tasted this, try tasting this. This is very level <laughs> kind of papad. So yeah, more papads. Also, it's very difficult for me to find Indian kind of cinnamon here. You get those roll kind of stuff. So I wanted this for cooking. So mom sent it over. And this is another thing that I really love. This is, I don't know whether you can see it. I don't know how to show it to you guys. So it's, it's okra, which has been sun dried. And if you fry and eat this, it's gonna be amazing. So my mom has prepared this again. Another thing for which South Indian households are famous for is their podi. So all kind of different powders I've got here. One is turmeric powder. This is actually homegrown by my mother and they have sent it. So proper homegrown stuff. And then I have some garam masala which mom has prepared. And then this is her speciality pepper powder which can be used to prepare pepper rasam and then some chutney foodie guys how can we all survive without this and then she's also sent this bella i think jaggery it's good for cold and cough so i'm gonna use it during those times and then she has also sun dried some flowers and she has sent it to me so it's it's these flowers what do we call it as? So this is Shanka Pushpa flowers, which is good for your health, I guess. So that's the reason I should have sent it. I, I drank the tea, it's really good. It's very subtle, but nice. We had also got some mangoes, which is already in my tummy long, long time back. So uh, I'll put a picture of the mango milkshake that we prepared. It was so damn good. Rajesh's parents had also sent some muruku and then my mom had prepared one more stuff from mango. It's called Amchur. I used to eat this a lot when I was in school. So another childhood memory of mine. Now enough about food. Let's talk about the metal that I was missing so badly here. It's no gold. It's no silver. But it is steel. I mean, the quality of steel stuff that you get here is not at all that great. And I was terribly missing it. I was tired of all the porcelain and ceramic stuff. We end up breaking it every other day. So I really wanted some steel utensils and that's what I've got. The first things, of course, is like steel plates. I have got like mid-sized one and like uh, breakfast plates and to have our thali kind of food so I've got it all covered and there's of course some katoris like different size ones and my mom how cutely she has packed like for three people three each in all sizes so yeah some of these and then some proper steel glasses I think three it is so for the next thing Please don't think I'm crazy. It's just my mom. <laughs> so basically other than the steel plate, one thing that I was really missing was all our spatulas, you see? So I can literally have a small shop here with all the stuff that she has sent. They're like so small and cute. I couldn't say no. So I've got all of them. So have a look. They were all lightweight stuff, but of good quality. So yeah, I just got them, but they're so cute, man. Like, look at it. 
I, I think this is my favorite one. And see, she's crazy about basically kitchen utensils. I'm not the one, but I think she was just trying to uh, have her shopping spree while doing this. So, yeah. I've also got this smasher and some garlic press. I mean, you can also get these things here, but the quality, I think it's, it's a good one. And of course, you'll get it for a cheaper price. So it's a win-win. Another thing for which South India is famous for is the idlis. And it's been not ages. I have never prepared proper rice idlis after coming to Canada. The reason being, just a second. This is the kutti idli stand that I have and it's a pain to prepare idlis in this. So I never attempted it. So I had to get new ones and bigger ones. See, can you compare the size? So I got these. So I have like four stands with four idlis in each. So four, eight, well, 60 liters. Now the next thing that I've got is I don't know how much of it I'm gonna use, but I want to use it. My brother has already started asking me, I got you all this stuff, you're not repairing anything. So it is this, so you can make uh, chuckles or the main purpose why we got this is to make idiapam. Idiapam is basically rice shavke in Karnata. So we can prepare that using this. So let's see when I'm gonna use this, but it's, it's small and super cute so loved it so i had hardly got any time to check all the stuff and now while filming what i realized is maybe i'm missing a piece of certain something i hope not i'll have to again search it but basically one thing that you would find in every malayali household is the pututi so got this to prepare some puttu so i'm not finding the lid nor the stopper or the handle i don't know where they are but i'll, I'll find it i i'm sure she would have packed it somewhere so it's gonna be treasure hunt but we got this also so this i'm sure i'm gonna use it because uh we've literally been making puttos in bamboo steamers like tattedly kind of uh, puttu we have been making so we're gonna have some proper puttu with this so the final and the most important thing that I've got from India is something which anybody cooks here will definitely miss. And that is Maxi. Yeah. And as you can see, there was a dent while getting it. So pack your mixes properly, but it's, it's working good thankfully but yeah this is something that I really wanted. I do have a blender from Ninja but you know when you prepare the batters and uh, masala for sambar there's always that grainy coarse texture which i don't like so i have already tried preparing masala out of the medium jar and it turned out really good so really happy with this buy and we also have this bigger version so this is the middle this is the long one and out of all the jars, the one that I was personally missing is the kutti jar to, you know, blend your spices or prepare ginger garlic paste in smaller proportions, basically, without adding any additional water. Because the one that I have, I literally need to pour in so much of water for it to literally start blending. So this one, I think is gonna work good. I have still not used it, so it's all new and fresh, but I'm gonna use it pretty soon and I'm gonna put it into very good use. I know, uh, so happy with this one. So yeah, those were my purchases related to food and uh, kitchen utensils and a big shout out to my mom, without which not even a single stuff would have made it to Canada. She literally went shopping. At my home, we don't like online shopping much because you literally can't make out right how things are. So she is a shopping freak. So she went out and got all this stuff for me. So 
I don't know what I would do without her. She's of course got me some more stuff too, uh, like clothes and all those cute, cute accessories. But there's another thing that she has sent. It's all related to uh, Dev Mane or Puja Mandir. So there's all these baglu torna. What do we call it? We put two doors right in South India. So I've got a lot of those stuff too. So we are yet to. uh set up a proper mandir in this home so we thought once my brother comes we all three can do it together so that's going to be one of our next projects so once i do that i'll show probably show you what are the different things that i got for my mandir from there so for today i guess that's it i hope you liked my mini haul from india So I guess that's it for the day guys and I hope to see you all soon in my next video. I wish for all of us to be blessed with abundant love, peace and happiness. Take care and do remember life's all about the little things. Bye bye.